Ang isang summer environment to spoons at my favorite hospital day school cooks walk. This is next to a book, a hospital day school where cook who have completed a certain level of study or works as a handle training. Even though they are students, they service a high level dishes. When I attend this time, there was also a lecture hosted by an organization called the Asian Street Food Cambodia. <laughs> and I was learn about the HACCP with a food hygienist from Singapore. This time, I attend the lunch uh, before the lecture. As explained at the beginnings, the spoon here is open the public as a place for practical training of Egg Cook student. Egg Book was established in 2009. The idea of using a training cafe to enhance the program was from the beginning, but until recently it couldn't be idealized. In 2016, seven years after the establishment, Spoon's Cafe was a longer way to the open. And with additional learning space, Equok is expanding its curriculum for cooking programs and increasing the number of students. The profits of the cafe are directly divided to Equok support, and all sales are located to learn and support. With the establishment of this cafe, there are now learning a practical skill to entertain guests with a authentic uh, Cambodian cuisine and the hospitality. Spoon's contribution does not end with education. The use of bamboo for spoon building has succeeded in raising in the level of bamboo construction in Shamla and developing a model for sustainable construction that is environmentally friendly. Cambodia has the third highest uh, deforestation rate in the world, with some of the oldest and the most diverse forests in Asia being cut down due to uh, coal plate timber production and the illegal loading. Bamboo construction not only reduces the de damage for wood, but also helps to raise awareness of this serious environmental problem. When you actually look inside, you can relax in a cafe that has a taste that makes the use of bamboo. Uh, but uh, you you live in the Canada before time. Sometimes came in here. I did. Yes, mm -hmm. I came here to be the executive director of, mm -hmm. the, of the organization. Mm -hmm. Or not? Actually, no. I've only been here since August, mm -hmm. um, and I've always worked for NGOs. No oh, NGOs. Yes. Oh. Yes. So that's my expertise, and I, I, a lot of the NGOs I've worked with have been vocational training, oh. which is what we are. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you move the his atti attitude and the uh, actions. That's right. Uh. Yes. So th we spend a lot of time mm -hmm. with them, teaching them how to be independent mm -hmm. and how to how to budget their money, um, how to budget their mm -hmm. money, how to uh, go shopping, mm -hmm. how to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Responsibilities like they have a they have a dorm mm -hmm. and they all have rules and they set the rules. Mm -hmm. the they decide when their curfew is. 
they decide what the penalty is if curfew gets broken. Mm. And um, we just help them to learn how to be independent so that when they um, when they graduate mm. and work full time, they're mm. probably going to stay here and live alone. So they need to feel confident to do that. Mm. I see. And we teach them a lot of the soft skills, like interacting with the, club, the customers mm -hmm. when they come in. Um, they also learn English. Mm -hmm. We send them for English language mm -hmm. training. Mm -hmm. so. How to say? Uh, uh, which, which city in uh, China? China, Shanghai, Xi'an. Xi'an, ah, Shandong. Uh, Shandong. And all the food manufacturing. Oh. Yes. And Malaysia. Yeah, and Malaysia. Singapore. What is the best one? Uh, the, the best one is you love you best. You love best. That's it. That's it. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so, are you studying right here? Chào rong nhanh nè này. Cứ cái đại cơ bây giờ. Quý đi. I know some uh, my student that we know <laughs> very well. We also a hospital we can offer uh, aware of the reporting and sell some of the new career that they rely on a uh, passive environment. So this is a very important for catering because we do it for our Singapore armed forces. In case people put poison to the army, the vulnerability, then uh, they must make sure the sample must be kept for any evidence check. Use your talent, use your knowledge to teach the younger generation. Don't, don't come back to me. But when you see me, just say hello. Hello Sam, hi Sam, I'm very happy. And I'll be very happy. Okay? Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I am a lay amateur because I have never been in involved in a food related work. However, every time I went to different country, I ate the food from these uh, countries and the religions. I think local cuisine is the best uh, gastronomy in, in the area. From there, I became interested in food and began to see various ingredients and dishes. However, I have noticed that in reality, it is more meaningful. Learning a local cuisine does not just provide a delicious food, but also inherit uh, their own cuisine to the next generation, introduce their cuisine to people of their contribution in the succession. As a site seen to develop, it eventually returns to everyone's benefit. Food is really closely related to every economy and the social contribution.